Hi, I'm Logs. So today I want to summarize the way of how to install the Huawei, uh, the GMS Google GMS into the Huawei phones to give you uh, some summarize and uh, some uh, uh, idea about uh, the solutions. Currently, I see from the web that uh, the most I think the perfect way is to install the uh, GMS in the system. I mean in the uh, to directly on the Huawei system, but uh, there is, uh, I mean, uh, a prediction of uh, that your Huawei phone's uh, EMUI system must be less than 10.0. I mean, 10 must be 10.0. If your system, Huawei EMUI system, is 10.1 or even the latest version, then you cannot, I mean, uh, install the GMS directly in your Huawei phone. So, and this way, I think this way there's many uh, limitations like your, your Huawei phone must be factory reset. Then you need to uh, install this uh, GMS step by step. It is very complicated. It, it takes you at least uh, 15 minutes to uh, install the, uh, the framework and uh, to reboot your Huawei phone and uh, make sure that your uh, phone's uh, Android version, I mean the EMUI version should be 10.0, less than that. And uh, if you purchase a new phone like uh, Huawei P uh, Mate 40, Mate 40 Pro or the Huawei P30, uh, P, P40 Pro, then, I th then uh, those phones, I mean the factory, when they just made in the factory, their uh, EMUI system already 10.1. 10.1. So you cannot use that uh, perfect way to install the GMS. So I think uh, the the most simplest way to install the GMS is to install the virtual machine, as I uh, introduced in my previous uh, videos. You can refer to my previous videos about uh, the virtual machine. And it, and uh, this kind of way, there's no need to. I mean, no, you care. You don't need to care about uh, the uh, EMUI system version, like. Any version can be supported by this uh, Android. I mean, Android uh, virtual machine. So you you never worry about that uh, your uh, your Huawei's uh, systems uh, version. So the Mate 40 and the Mate 40 Pro, the P40, P40 Pro, all those Huawei phone is uh, support. I mean, they are. Uh, uh, the system is compatible with the virtual machine, then you can use the virtual machine to uh, use the Google applications like Google Photo, YouTube, and uh, the uh, Google's uh, music, all kinds of uh, uh, application which need a Google framework you, when you are using the Android uh, virtual machine. I think this is, uh, this is uh, I mean, this is also a perfect way to install the Google GMS because it's uh, no regardless of your phone's uh, Huawei phone's uh, Emo UI system version. Okay, another way I think even I mean even better than this Android uh, virtual machine, uh, as I in introduced in my previous video, is to use the uh, Our Play. You know, Our Play. This is um, application. This is not a virtual machine. An application and. Uh, Using this application, you can import. You can import the uh, YouTube, import the uh, Google Photo into this application, and using this application to load the Google's uh, YouTube. And the most, I mean, benefit. The benefit, uh, most, I mean, uh, the uh, best way. The best thing for this way is you, your YouTube, your photo, or your Google Photo can. Uh, I mean, uh, communicate with your Huawei phone directly. There's no need, like the Android, I mean, the Android uh, virtual machine. You need to import your photo, your file from your Huawei original phone system into your virtual machine. Then your virtual machine will using the YouTube and the Google Photo to synchronize onto your Google Cloud. Mm, a little bit, uh, I mean, not very convenient, but that. Uh, but it's also acceptable, you know. It's also acceptable. But uh, if you're using uh, our play, then you need, need you don't need to do that because you can. Uh, I mean, uh, using the our play and load the YouTube, and YouTube can communicate with your uh, orig original systems file and uh, photos directly. So there's no need to import. Just using it uh, directly on your phone. So our play can. Uh, 
uh, help the YouTube to be loaded and help the Google Photo to be loaded and lo loaded. And after they loaded, then the Google Photo can uh, synchronize the uh, photos on your Huawei phone directly. There's no need to import or output like that. But I'll play currently. Uh, uh, if you want to use this, I'll play to load the Google Google's application. Then you need to set your mobile phone with the uh, language of uh, simplified Chinese currently. So otherwise, you cannot open the Outplay application. And this is the first step you need to do. And the second step is uh, if you are using the uh, uh, SIM card, which is not uh, belong to, I mean, belong to the China mainland, then you need to pull out, pull out your SIM card from your Huawei phone. Then you can load the Outplay application and then using load outplay application to load the YouTube to load the Google photo so this is a simplest and uh, best way to using the Google application but I mean if you are using the uh, SIM card not belong to the China mainland then you need to pull out your SIM card then you, you will, can use your Wi-Fi to connect to the internet this is one way you can uh, use if you you, you you can use this outplay outside the China mainland. Another second way is, you know, the Huawei phone which support dual, I mean dual SIM card, two SIM card can be supported in the Huawei phone. So you can put in one China mainland SIM card, another one uh, SIM card, maybe you can use the uh, North America SIM card, the U uh, SIM card of uh, Europe or Canada or or kind of uh, countries which the SIM card belongs to this country, then you can put in, uh, pu I mean, put in two SIM card, one China mainland, another one any country, no, uh, no matter, just uh, you living in the country uh, about your country, so your SIM card in your country. So do your SIM card then in your Huawei phone. So then, then, then you don't need to pull out your SIM card. You just, uh, the only way to do is to set your mobile phone using the simplified Chinese, then you can load the outplay with your, with your dual, with your two SIM card inside the Huawei phone. When it belongs to China mainland, another one belongs to your country, then you can load outplay easily. So outplay is, be I think outplay is better than the Android virtual machine uh, at the current stage. And uh, uh, the most perfect way is to install install the Google uh, GMS directly on the Huawei phone the, in, into the Huawei's original system. But there's many, many limitation conditions you need to uh, uh, satisfy, which should be satisfied, many uh, conditions like your and your uh, Huawei's original EMUI system should be less than 10.0, 10.0 or less. If a more latest version like 10.1, then you cannot install the GMS directly on your Huawei phone. So now currently, the uh, regardless of those uh, limitation and uh, uh, which support all Huawei phones, the simplest way is to install Android virtual machine. This is a one, one solution. Another one solution is install the uh, application of our Play using our Play to load the uh, Google Photo and, Google, uh, and Google's YouTube. So this is another solution. And this solution's uh, good way is you need, don't need to uh, import or output the uh, file from your Huawei original phone because the Outplay, using Outplay to load the uh, YouTube and the Google Photo, and the Google, YouTube and the Google Photo, this application can communicate with your Huawei phone directly to synchronize the photos, videos, and the files into Google Cloud, Cloud um, very easily. So. Okay, so this this is today's summarize of the uh, the way of how to install the uh, Google application and use YouTube, uh, install the Google's uh, GMS and the Google service, Google Play Store, such kind of uh, applications. So uh, I think uh, if this uh, video is helpful for you, just to uh, uh, give a sim up, sum up, and uh, subscribe the channel to avoid missing future update. So thank you so much. See you next time. Peace.